Hello everybody, this is going to be a review of the Luz Mach Speed Spool SLP or better known in internet postings as the MCS. I will go into detail what that means here in a minute. Um, but anyways, this is the reel, obviously. It is a 10 bearing $99 reel um, that Luz has made. So I've got it paired up on a Luz Mach Speed Stick right now. Six and a half foot. Or don't move, that works. So, this is the reel. So like I said, this is a 10 bearing system that Luz came out with about a year and a half to two years ago. Uh, retails for about $99 just about everywhere you go. And this is the SLP model. Now what SLP stands for is super low profile. Um, and obviously as they meant for it to be, it is a very low profile reel. Now in most of the internet postings that you'll see for this reel, it's going to say lose speed spool MCS and now what MCS stands for basically means that it has a magnetic control system which is basically the the braking system and the way that works so don't really let that fool you so they make this reel in a 7.5 to 1 gear ratio and a 6.8 gear ratio and I believe if I remember right in the left hand model they only make a 7.5 now I'll go into some more boring specs here um, in the 6.8 gear ratio, the recovery per turn is going to be 27 inches. So every turn of the handle you go, the reel reel is 27 inches. And in the 7.5 gear ratio, it's going to turn 30 inches. 7.2 ounces and has 15 pounds of drag. Um, and this model right here, and basically all the other uh, Mach Speed Spool models, will hold 110 yards of 12 pound mono, which in braid would be about equivalent to a 40 or 50 pound. Um, also has a graphite frame and side plates and it's got the aluminum handle here with some rubber grips. Now removal of the, uh, the side plate is pretty easy. All I got to do is go into the back here. You have a little little tab down here. For some reason I cannot get this camera to focus. Got a little tab right there. Push it back and it just pulls off like that. <laughs> Got all that fun stuff in there, and then if you needed to get your spool out, you can do that. It is a, what I believe, an aluminum spool, and it's got the U-shaped spool. Yep, so basically this spool right here, obviously you have the, uh, it's a little bit wider towards the sides, and then it'll dip down there right in the middle, so it'll hold a little bit more line. And basically to put it back, just put this in here, Put the braking system back on and then you just slide that clip back and it locks right back into place. So this reel is very similar to the regular speed spool. Um, same price. The regular speed spool I believe is three tenths of an ounce lighter. Um, I know that really doesn't make much of a difference. It also has the same line capacity. It'll hold 120 yards of uh, 12 pound mono or the equivalent to a 40 or 50 pound braid. Um, the only thing I don't like about the speed spool is that it does feel a little bit bulkier than this reel here. And uh, I believe that the regular speed spool is made out of an aluminum frame and then a graphite side plate. This one is made out of a graphite frame, graphite side plate. Um, and this one just kind of looks cooler, honestly. And that's kind of why I chose this one, to be honest. So, like I said, I got this reel about a year ago. And... Put some pretty heavy use on it this year, and honestly, I have not done any maintenance to it, and it still spins pretty well. Um, I still need to to get everything lubricated and whatnot. I just took the line off for the year. I'm going to be replacing it here, um, I guess, fairly shortly. But spins real nice. Does everything it should. Um, I love it as a reel. I use it as a as a jerk bait reel. So I got the the seven five seven five gear ratio right there. Um, and I love it. Everything on it functions as it should. Drag works just well. You got your line tensioner. It works just fine. You know, spool release. So overall, what do I think? I think it's probably the best $100 reel on the market today. This one and then it's big brother, the regular speed spool. I personally like this one because it is just a little bit more low profile. Um, it'll hold the same amount of line, but the, the regular speed spool is a tad bit bigger, as in taller, I guess you would say. Um, nothing against it, I just think that this one looks cooler, and, uh, I mean, they still perform the same. Luz makes a lot of great reels, and the higher up you go in price, the nicer they get. 
Um, they've got a couple of really nice ones. One I really want to get is the magnesium, which is basically magnesium just about everything. and It's super, super light. So maybe get one of those in the future. I don't know. We'll see. But overall, I just I think it's one of the best $100 reels in the market today. It's great for beginners or advanced and um, definitely highly recommend.